Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. This video was inspired by people like you, by my search and also my guests that noticed that I've got very old, very clunky dishwasher and yet all the dishes coming perfectly clean out of it. It's so old, like the, the surface supposed to be stainless steel and it's rusting. So after I explain my friends how washing machine, dishwashing machine works uh, and why the dishes come and clean out of my dishwasher, they say that after they saw most of my videos, I have to create video about uh, dishwashing and dishwashing tablets. So here it is. Please stick until the end of the video because I definitely, definitely tell you what's the best uh, dishwashing uh, uh, tablets are and uh, but the first thing I would like to mention that it's not important what dishwashing tablets are using until you understand how dishwasher works and usually uh, my my videos would be reviews of the appliances and the final thing is they I never review dishwashers there are some great dishwashers for sure uh, but most of the time when people pay more money it's for more fancy features and quality of dishwasher per se. But uh, sometimes if you pay thousand dollars more for dishwasher, it's not worth your money if you're using the wrong dishwashing tablets. So let me explain. Unlike other appliances in your household, dishwasher from the moment it was invented, uh, it still stays the same and unsophisticated. Most of the home appliances moved on and sophistication levels are through the roof. Dishwashers, they look different, they've got more digital buttons, some of them got more simplistic features, but to be honest, they all stay the same. So I would like to, to walk through quickly how dishwasher works because it ties completely for what dishwashing tablets you should put uh, in your dishwasher. So if we open dishwasher, most of the cheaper dishwashers will have uh, two trays and every tray would have a uh, propeller that would distribute evenly water uh, kind of sprouts to uh, rinse the dishes. So dishwasher has literally a couple of things. There's a lot of tools that support those things. But first, it has a pump that pump in water up. It has a... Uh, uh, kind of heater that heats up the water and the pump that would take water out. That is all. There's nothing sophistication and it's sophisticated about it. The only sophistication goes electronics that control all those devices and sometimes they get smart the way they operate but in a nutshell the uh, uh, the process of washing dishes did not change things uh, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 years ago when uh, uh, dishwasher, uh, first dishwasher was invented. So, what's happening when you put your uh, 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 dishes in? First of all, definitely you need to create tiny spaces in between them. Because if water cannot get inside, your dishes won't be clean. So piling on top of one another will prevent that. So, you know, the way you stack in your dishwasher, it, it is important. There's, there's no uh, dishwashing tablet in the world would combat that. So, stacking should be done properly in the, in the spaces provided. Uh, the better dishwashers create kind of more ergonomic spaces, the spaces that you can stack more with the same volume. So, that's, a, I guess, difference between cheap and more expensive dishwashers in a nutshell. Second function is uh, to heat up uh, water and, 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 and distribute it and drain it out. So dishwasher has uh, in, 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 in general three different phases. The first phase, it will take water in, it will rinse the dishes, drain water out, then get water in, wash the dishes with the dishwashing uh, tablet, drain that water and then have final take water in, clean that uh, soapy substances on the dishes, drain out and because that water was hot, it used steam and a hot environment to heat everything up and wait until the uh, uh, water drops. 
and then when you open the door it will evaporate some more sophisticated dishwashers will open the door on their own it will allow to steam escape and, and uh, uh, your di uh, dishes to dry so what is the secret of uh, uh, clean dishes and what uh, clean uh, and what tablets to use for dishwasher so that it ties in a little compartment here that uh, you put your tablets in and before we start this i would like to mention that when you put dishes in what's important for them not to touch one another then spin each propeller make sure that dishes not poking under because if you stop the propeller right the water cannot circulate across and the propeller will just get stuck and doesn't matter what dishwashing tablet you're using the washers will come out dirty so those propellers need to spin easily so there's one under and one here they need to be clean themselves the dishes need to be apart and that's what you can do the second thing you rely on is a good dishwashing tablet and let me explain a little bit here what's going on i'll bring camera a little bit closer and i point on this uh, plastic gizmo so everyone taking this part for granted and this part is the most amazing part as design of dishwasher so it has not two not one three compartments and they're clearly marked so this one is for washing dishes this one is pre rinse and this one is post rinse why is that it is important when you put first dishes on to rinse them before you wash right so all the debris from the dishes need to be clean and the grease that is on the plates and other uh, utensils need to be clean so if there is a nothing goes into the small bit here your chance of rinsing those dishes very minimal you just rely on hot water for rinsing and sometimes it's not enough sometimes you've got more tougher stains sometimes you've got more tougher greases and by the way uh, fat and water don't go well together it will melt fat a little bit but it won't take it off dishes so if nothing goes in pre-rinse compartment you've got very little opportunity to wash your dishes well then you've got main wash where you can hear in the middle of the on a washing cycle uh, like clunk like this when tablets falls down and that's your main wash that's what you rely on and then when everything goes in drain the liquid uh, for uh, glass to, to make it clean comes out of here it's more like kind of drying it make it streak free but that's not a part of this video I would like to talk to you uh, about dishwashing tablets and specifically so there's a huge war going on in between like this tablet better than that tablet and I like finish I like uh, uh, fairy I like other tablets I tell you what yes it does matter what they put in the tablet and one tablet is definitely better than another but it doesn't matter which tablet you're using if you're using tablet for your dish washing because when you put tablet here there's nothing goes in the pre-rinse and i'm not saying people not to use tablets right by the way uh, I, I encourage people to still use tablets if you want to and i put links down below for what tablets you know i suggest and their price difference and all that but the magic is to use are you ready for this old-fashioned dishwashing powder why I'll show you quickly why because when you put powder in hold on you put a little bit here a little bit there now you clearly can see when I close it what happens here the main compartment will be sealed but there are holes in the pre-rinse compartment so when water for the first time comes in you have a substance that will go and really rinse your dishes almost clean with that powder and if you don't have powder here if you got on the tablet you cannot pre-rinse your dishes it's just almost impossible so you're depriving yourself 
for a cycle that you're paying for because of water getting heated and things getting in motion, you're literally depriving yourself from the whole washing cycle if there's a nothing in a small compartment. So what I encourage you to do is, uh, if you would like to use dishwashing tablets, by all means, and the video title of this video, what is dishwashing tablet, you can choose your own tablets, but doesn't matter what tablet you choose, there's no about best tablet. You can use for whole cycle uh, powder, like any, any brand of the powder, and your outcome will be better than any tablet because you've got two opportunities to actually wash your dishes with actually less. It costs way less money, it's more environmentally friendly, it's unsophisticated, and uh, to be honest, people take me about convenience. I don't know about convenience. Yes, you, you open the compartment, you pop tablet in. So open the compartment, I just pour my, uh, my powder in. So what's inconvenient about that? But again, I'm going to run around in circles here. I cannot emphasize enough. There's no sophistication inside dishwasher. The sophistication is here. What you put in your detergent compartment before you will wash your dishes. I really hope this video is helpful. If you like my channel, if you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you put thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and comment. Please comment. And I know some comments will be, oh, my dishwasher doesn't have two compartments. That's right. Some dishwashers really sign up uh, contracts with the uh, uh, tablet manufacturers and they put one little compartment. Honestly, if you ask my opinion, I would not buy those dishwashers because they're depriving you from a cycle. It's either getting released in the beginning of wash cycle and then you got uh, uh, old uh, kind of dirty water all the time or you don't have two cycles. If you buy a normal dishwasher that have uh, two compartments, small and big one, I would recommend you use your favorite tablets and the powder in the pre-rinse or powder all together and you see how your dishes will be sparkly clean. And yeah, pre-rinse is helpful too, but this video is not about that. Thank you so much for watching. Grab for Brisbane Australia until next time.